Do not be afraid of work that has no end. So for the last uh, decade, I've been working on the global water crisis, on the problem that 663 million people are living without access to their most basic need. Now, Charity Water has been able to help about eight and a half million people. So eight and a half million out of 663, we, we've solved just a little more than 1% of the problem. So sometimes it feels like a never ending challenge. Um, you know, in the good days, we fill up stadiums worth of people and realize that, wow, that is an impact. Eight million lives is a lot of lives, but uh, it's 1% of the global problem. I really believe that if your work is to end the needless suffering of others, if you are giving of your time and your talent and your money to lift people out of extreme poverty to you know, improve other people's lives, then, then it has no end. Because when we solve the water crisis and we see that number zero, we're not just going to drop the mic and go become bankers. We're going to go you know, turn our attention on uh, another basic need. Maybe it's shelter, maybe it's health, maybe it's a justice issue. I mean, for the last 10 years, I've made somewhere between 100 and 200 speeches a year. And, and in, in some ways, that has led to a lot of the success. Being out there, trying to move people towards greater compassion and empathy through stories. And if I just stand on stage and say, 663 million people are living without clean water, everybody goes numb. But we don't respond to statistics and numbers. Uh, when I stand on stage and tell the story of living in a village in Ethiopia where a 13-year-old girl hung herself from a tree because she spilled her water, people feel something. Uh, they are drawn to action. They're drawn to a greater level of compassion.